Yeah, hello guys and welcome back and we will be continuing with our uh, feature session and in the previous video we have discussed about the Microsoft Dynamic X and, uh, and ERP so in this session we will just go and look into a bit on our history side of Microsoft Dynamic X and as you can see there are a lot of version of uh, Microsoft Dynamic X and I would like you to go and uh, read uh, on this link you can go and uh, read and more about it and what we are interested on each and current uh, our training environment current uh, training environment I will be using as in Microsoft Dynamic X 2012 version 6 so which was released in uh, September 2011 so for our current training we will be using this environment and I have already downloaded the uh, the demo version of an Microsoft Dynamic X 2012 uh, R3 and uh, completed update 12 so but now current version is already released by Microsoft Dynamic X which is version 7 uh, which is in the current um, training uh, uh, match dynamic X and uh, this is a bit history I would like to uh, you all to go and read on this link and so here as you can see I have already installed my uh, my demo server over than match dynamic X and Actually, Microsoft Dynamic X is a three tier of uh, application, uh, which means that uh, it runs in a three environment like first environment, the first tier environment, what we call as a client, uh, client architecture, and second tier would be an our uh, application object server, uh, which is an AOS of Microsoft Dynamic X, and third would be our database server. So, this three tier makes a single application of Microsoft Dynamic X. So this is in our client, and if we go to our service, and you can see here a service running of a Microsoft Dynamic X object server. So this should be our second tier, uh, which is an object server, application object server. So that tier would be our uh, database server. Mm. You can see the database. We have our Three database actually here is Dynamic X model in a baseline. Mm, the name may vary depending on the installation. Uh, you can create uh, your own name when you are installing. Uh, but this is an, uh, a demo version that I have been downloaded from uh, Microsoft. So it would be a by default name of the Microsoft Dynamic X, the uh, X model in a baseline. So all your business logic data and and uh, could be installed in, in the main database which is in Microsoft Dynamic X and the model would uh, store all your customization uh, all the details would be stored in the model database and the uh, baseline database is uh, consists of all your updates and patch patches that have been uh, applied to your uh, uh, Dynamic X so these are the um, uh, three tier application what we call as in max dynamic X. So first would be client, second would be application object server, AOS, and third would be your database. Mm, so I think uh, this must be our guys today and uh, next uh, session we will be continuing with our new lecture. Thank you guys.